a very senior, a very well-respected and very high profile detective chief inspector here in Oma uh, was the victim uh, of this gun attack, this cold and calculated attack. It was a targeted attack at this sports club on the outskirts of Oma town. And the PSNI also revealed other details. He was with his young son at the time of this incident. He was putting footballs into the boot of his car when two masked men approached in the car park here at this sports club and opened fire. He was hit repeatedly. He fell to the ground and he was shot again. You can only imagine how traumatic it must have been for not only his son, but the many other children uh, that had just finished a training session here, of, of which the detective uh, chief inspector was a, a voluntary coach uh, when this attack unfolded. And we've been getting local reaction here throughout the morning as well as uh, late last night as well. And I'm joined now by a local MP, uh, Sinn Féin's MP for West Tyrone, Orla Begley. Thanks for speaking to Sky News this morning, uh, Orla. I mean, everybody here is still absorbing this, but how, in your dealings with the community so far, how are people taking this? This is a throwback to another Northern Ireland. Well, I have to say this is a very callous and grotesque attack last night. Um, my thoughts, first and foremost, are with the police officer. I'm wishing him a full and speedy recovery. I'm also thinking of his family at this time. Um, they must be traumatised by this incident last night, particularly his young son, and my thoughts are with them this morning. The people here are just in a state of shock and disbelief that this would happen in their local community. This is a safe place here. It's a local community hub where people come um, to enjoy their sports, and it should be a safe place for all, particularly for children and young people that were here last night. Unfortunately, that was not the case, and this morning we're joining in condemnation of it. There's no place for violence in our society, and that is the clear message coming from Killiglaher here today. And the Police Service of Northern Ireland also this morning told us that the primary focus is dissident republicanism. Now, that when you hear of police officers being targeted or being shot in Northern Ireland, it is the hallmarks of dissident republicans who want to target and they want to murder police officers. How does that tally with your broader experience of the republican community? Are they revulsed? Well, I have to say there's absolutely no support um, for violence here in Oma, and that's been shown time and time again. We're coming up to the 25th anniversary um, of the Good Friday Agreement, and what we want to look towards is a bright and better future for everyone living in this local community. We can see today that political leaders are here this morning. Indeed, there's community leaders, there's local um, school leaders as well, and we're all joining as, as one in condemning what happened here last night, and that remains the approach. There is no place for violence in our society um, in this day and age. Sinn Féin unequivocally condemn this? We condemn it outright and utterly. Um, there's no place for um, violence. There's no place um, for this to have taken place last night, and that remains the case this morning. Why do some extreme elements of the Republican community feel that they are entitled to carry out these attacks to try and drag Northern Ireland back to a very dark past? Well, I can't speak for them, but what, what I can say is that Sinn Féin are committed to the peace process. We're coming up to the 25th um, anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement. My generation have benefited so greatly from the Good Friday Agreement, and we want to ensure um, that we heal the wounds of the past, that we move together um, as one and look towards brighter days ahead. 